Good morning guys, it's 6 30 right now, which means that it is sunrise. So we're gonna go to the roof to check it out. Oh baby, I love your madness. It's so incredibly beautiful. Oh you shine like gold, so selfless to Part of the mountainous Dana Biosphere Reserve at the end of a rugged track, an idyllic candlelit lodge rests in the magnificent Wadi Fainan. Hailed as one of the best 25 eco lodges in the world by National Geographic magazine, the award winning solar powered Fainan Eco Lodge offers the most developed eco experience in Jordan. An experience only made possible by a unique partnership between Eco Hotels and the Royal Society for the Conservation of Nature, a Jordanian NGO devoted to the protection of the king's finest natural landscapes. Here, set against the glorious desert landscape, guests staying at the 26-room lodge can be found adventuring through the untouched outdoors, exploring local archaeological sites, and winding in the serene courtyards and terraces of the candlelit complex or sipping sweet tea with native Bedouin. Welcome to the Fay Nan Eco Lodge, which is the first of its kind in Jordan. I am so excited to share this with you because it's really been a truly amazing experience. Behind me are so many goats, and I can tell you from our drive in, we saw so many herds of these beautiful animals and coming here has been so special to be able to see herds of goats outside your window of course a lot of kitty friends and we even found a dog and this morning I woke up to wolves the the sound of them anyway so it's been a truly amazing experience so what makes the eco lodge special so like I mentioned this is the first of its kind in Jordan and everything here is powered by solar energy so there's solar panels all over the roof which is amazing because you can still have hot showers here because the water is heated and also the energy from the solar panels themselves are put into batteries for storage so you do have a light in your in your bathroom in the evening but other than that the entire eco lodge is lit by candles and immediately coming here I felt so serene and so at peace and so calm it's been so wonderful and just to have candles around you just creates the most amazing ambiance and let me tell you the amount of stars I saw in the sky last night was absolutely incredible because if you come to Jordan this can't be missed Shukran. Oh, the school bag. Aislaf. <laughs> He's in fifth grade. Wow. Do <laughs> you And that morning in the Bedouin tent, I was reminded of something. Something I've known before at times in my life through a silence with nature, 
running until everything around me disappears, or taking a swim in the sea. We may not speak the same language, but something so special was understood. Life is a lot simpler than we make it out to be. I'm convinced the Bedouin know something we don't, or perhaps it is something like I mentioned that we have known through times in our lives, but not chosen to actively hold on to. It is too often we spend our time in front of screens, and yes, perhaps you're doing that right now, but this is your reminder to take an active effort to find the beauty in the simplicity today. My new friend Ali showed me his toy car made out of a sardine can, bottle caps, and nails. His homework from a small school down the Wadi Fainan Desert Road, and of course he introduced me to all of his animal friends. We fed them, enjoyed our tea together, and forever I will have these most special memories. Just yeah. So, just... It was truly so amazing to spend the morning in the Bedouin tent with the family and to meet our new friend Ali who is in grade five and hopes to be a teacher one day and who actually knows some English. It was it was so heartwarming. Honestly, the hospitality of everyone in Jordan has been incredible. It's it's been better and more more heartwarming, I, I suppose is the word than I've ever felt before. Just everyone's kindness, everyone's hospitality, everyone wants to welcome you into their, you know, whether it be hotel or like their tent, like we just saw, like it's, there really is no words. Like I just feel like my heart is expanding so much being here and I've just learned so much and it just goes to show how simplicity really is happiness here. Like to live in a tent in the desert in one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen, there's no you know <laughs> laptops there's no social media and to just see how simple life is and how you know going back to going back to real life as I will in a few days like you just you know nothing's really as bad as it seems and it just grants you a whole new perspective on life being here so I'm so incredibly grateful and I hope that you guys have enjoyed my Jordan journey so far because I've really enjoyed sharing it with you and I hope you've enjoyed meeting lots of new friends along the way because I know I have and yeah just so heartwarming to see people live side by side but with the animals and just live in so much peace and tranquility because you really feel it here and I'm so happy to have been able to share it with you so thank you so much and I'll see you again very soon bye